Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Today we're going to have a look at whether the Canon R6, which I'm filming on at the moment, or is it the Canon R over there? No, it's the R6 because we've already done the R and there's links for those videos up there. But today we're going to see whether or not I can balance the R6 with the EF 16 to 35 with the extending piece on there, the adapter that um, sets the EF lenses onto the R system on the Weeble S. Let's roll that intro. Right, I'm going to let you into a little secret. Yes, it does balance. So if you want to see that, then fast forward and you'll get the measurements. But as always, here is today's uninteresting fact. Do you know that when a male honeybee climaxes, his testicles explode and then he dies? Jeez, that's a bit ruthless. Anyway, let's get into the measurements. Right, so here we go with the Canon R6 and the EF. 16 to 35 lens with the adapter on the back okay and i can tell you it does balance um it's a bit of a heavier kit this one and you would have think with this great big length here that um it wouldn't really go on there that well but it does and we'll show you that in a sec but as always the key part to it is setting up your base plate so with this base plate all right hopefully you can see that on there yeah um it's right back it is its final piece and then you've got the um, support mechanism there just before the old wheel there, the focus wheel on that one. All right, got that nice and solid, then these measurements will work. Let's get it on the camera and then I'll show you the measurements in, well, actually, I've got to show you the measurements before I get it on the camera, haven't I? Nearly forgot that one. Right, so on the side here, all right, this one's now set at 1.567, so that's 1.7 on that side. And on here, it is at 6.2. So just there at 6.2. Again, the side to side one, I've had to bring it back because obviously the weight of that lens on there is a lot more than the RF35. And then on the side, on here, okay, these measurements here, you've got 1.45 there. So it's 1.45 there, okay. And then on the very bottom here, Hopefully you can see that it's actually set at three point, that's about three point three there. So that's set at three point three there. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, I nearly forgot. This one down here is set at 1.6. So on there, it's 1.6. Right, so I will lock these back into place. It's always easier to get the camera on when it's um, locked in. We'll slot him on. Just on here. I do like this plate mechanism that they have because it means once you've got it balanced, you can just leave it there, whip it off, and um, you don't have to back, worry about rebalancing it. So everything should stay on there nicely. And we shall fire her up, and then you'll see, they've already done the auto tune on this one as well, that not only does it balance. But with that great big lens on it, okay, which you can alter, okay, and go all the way through the mechanisms. That's what I like about the um, Weeble S. All right, now then, you'll see that it just about gets there, but you're not going to get any lower than that anyway, okay, and it does miss the eyepiece on the back motors. All right, let's spin that around so you can see that. Bring that one back up. There you go. There's actually quite a bit of gap between there, so no worries about the eyepiece touching it. Put it into the old vortex mode. So that's a selfie mode even. Put that one back. How do you put it in the vortex mode? I can never remember. Ah, oh, that's it. Twice on the POV button. Right, and there she is, spinning right round. Right round, baby, right round. Oh, God, I'm showing my age with that song, ain't I? Um, right. Let's uh, get back in studio and see what we can do with this. So there you go, balance is lovely, doesn't it? If you've got any questions whatsoever, not just about this, but other things to do with the Canon R and all of that, then leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll always get back to everyone. Might take me 24 hours or so, but I will do, I promise you. That's it for today, everyone. Hopefully you found this one useful. Oh, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button, even if it's for some more uninteresting facts. Stay safe, everyone. Have fun making stuff. Keep smiling, for God's sake. 
Cheers and gone.